General Hospital Spoilers Update for Tuesday, March 8, teases that Elizabeth Baldwin will reject Hamilton Finn's trip idea while Sasha Gilmore and Brando Corbin decide to elope. Cameron Weber and Jocelyn Jax will also figure out a top suspect, so let's talk about what's coming up. First, Liz will remain a mess over all the stalker drama. Liz still won't have firm answers about who's tormenting her, but she'll assume they don't want her letting go of Franco Baldwin's memory. Of course, moving on with Finn presents a problem here, so Liz may push Finn away. GH spoilers say Liz will make a significant decision and will refuse to go anywhere with Finn. It sounds like Liz will nix any getaway plans and want to focus on keeping her younger sons calm as well as safe. Liz may think it's best to back off her relationship with Finn until this stalker crisis gets sorted out. However, Liz isn't seeing what's staring her right in the face. Jake Weber is struggling over Liz moving on from Franco and clearly doesn't approve of her relationship with Finn. Liz doesn't want to believe Jake could be capable of haunting her like this, but Finn already has a hunch that Jake's responsible and should be proven right down the road. That doesn't necessarily mean Jake did all this alone, but he'll indeed battle guilt as this storyline moves along, meaning he's at least played some role in Liz's suffering. In the meantime, Lucy Co. will show off the real estate listing that Portia Robinson and Curtis Ashford have been admiring. Although Lucy will sell it as the ideal home, Curtis may find some small fault with it. Portia will be taken aback over a complaint or suggestion that Curtis makes. Portia will work to convince Curtis that his negative is actually a positive, but this could be less about the new place and more about old feelings for Jordan Ashford, Tanisha Harper. Trina Robinson will also get updates on how Victor Cassidine, Charles Shaughnessy, broke Spencer Cassidine, Nicholas Chavez, out of Spring Ridge, if only for a quick trip to the cemetery. Trina and Spencer will have a heartfelt graveside chat as she helps him honor Courtney Matthews on the anniversary of her death. Meanwhile, seeing Sunny Corinthus again will only bring more sorrow for Carly Corinthus. Any Carly and Sunny interactions are difficult right now, so nothing has changed when it comes to Carly needing time and space. Over with Cameron and Jocelyn, they'll bicker over the sizzling video that just played in their college class. In the midst of all the anger, panic and humiliation, Jocelyn will wonder if Cameron might have filmed them and released the clip for all to see. Cameron will be aghast over Joss even thinking such a thing, so she'll eventually agree he's not to blame. Once they really put some thought into this, it won't be hard to land on Esme Prince, Avery Kristen Pohl, as suspect number one. Jocelyn will stop Esme in her tracks and hurl accusations at her, but Esme will act like it must have been Trina instead. When Trina finds out about the video and realizes the finger is pointed at her, she'll really let Esme have it. In Niagara Falls, Brando will be taken aback as he realizes Sasha seriously wants to get married today. Sasha will think they should head to the nearest chapel and get hitched ASAP, but Brando will worry about rushing into things. Brando won't get why Sasha is so enthusiastic all of a sudden, but GH fans know the drugs are to blame. Even so, Brando will let himself get swept away in the romance of it all and will agree to the speedy wedding Sasha wants. General Hospital spoilers say Sasha could battle major regrets about this marriage proposal once she comes down from her high.